Welcome to Explainer Insight. Today I'm going to explain a romance and comedy movie named Virgin Territory. Watch out and take care. The movie starts and we see a man who was painting in a church. He had been working in that church for several days, but he did not get money for many days for this work. So, he goes to father asking for money, but then he learns that the father has died due to the plague. He gets sad seeing all this because now he will never get his money. Then he sees father's dress lying there, and now he decides that he will now become father. Next, we see a boy named Lorenzo who is running away from a man named Urbino. Loren somehow escapes by running away from Urbino, but Giordano tells his men to capture Lorenzo. After this, Lorenzo goes to his friends and they suggest to leave this city so that your Urbino can't find you. Lorenzo agrees to his friends and leaves on horseback. After this, we see a princess named Campania. Her parents have died during the plague and she was sad because of this. Then there comes Torino. Campania had no one in this world anymore, so Gino tries to take advantage. He tells Peppino that. What will you do now? Campania says that I have promised Prince Jaworski that I will marry him. Then Giordano tells him that your father had borrowed a lot of money from me. Now, after his death, I have the right over all his wealth. He tells you only have this house. And if you want to keep this house with you, then you have to marry me. Next, we see Lorenzo, followed by Gino's men. Lorenzo here meets a man who was carrying a dead body. He asks the man about that dead body. Then the man tells him that he was a dumb and deaf man who used to work as a gardener in a nearby church. But today he died suddenly. Hearing this, Lorenzo thinks that if this man is dead, then there must be a need for another man. And he could stay in that church by becoming dumb and deaf. Lorenzo then climbs a tree to escape from Trevino's men. When Georgina's men leave, he begins to descend from the tree. But then the branch of the tree breaks and Lorenzo falls to the ground. And that's where he gets unconscious. Now we see that some nun comes there, she picks up Lorenzo and takes him to the church. The nun was so lusty that she could not stop herself seeing Lorenzo and started touching him in a dirty way. Lorenzo was also conscious now, but he was pretending to be unconscious because he liked it too. Then there comes the head of the nun. Both these nuns tell her that this man is dumb and deaf. The senior nun gets very happy hearing this because he only wanted a dumb deaf man so that he could do church's work and she hires Lorenzo. Lorenzo there pretends to be dumb and deaf. Once, while Lorenzo was taking a bath, two nurses come to him and take off their clothes and take a bath with him. And Lorenzo also has a lot of fun with them. Actually, the nuns used to hire the deaf and dumb so that they could not tell anyone what he did to them. Now we see Pamphylia who comes to live in a church to get rid of Trevino. This was the same church in which Lorenzo works while two nuns are dressing Pampanga she see lawn there. She asked the nun who the boy is. Then the nun tells her that he is Lorenzo and he is the gardener here, and he looks after a church. But sadly, he is dumb and deaf. Once, while Lorenzo was doing his work, a nun comes to him and they both go to the bushes to get intimate. But Pampanga sees them. And on seeing this, Pampanga feels very jealous because she has now started liking Lorenzo. After this, we see the king of Russia, Giuseppe, who comes to the palace of Pampanga. But Trevino tells him that Pampanga is going to marry me. Now, hearing this Jersey leaves, but a man outside tells him that Pampanga has been waiting for him in another city for several days. Hearing these jerky leaves for another city. Next, we see Lorenzo, where two nuns come to meet him. Actually, they knew what the rest of the nuns did to Lorenzo, and they wanted to do the same thing with him. And Lauren agrees to it, too, and gets intimate with them. Now, slowly, Pampina also started liking Lorenzo and started getting attracted towards him. One day while working, Lorenzo was singing and Pampanga notices him and learns that he is not deaf and dumb. One day Pampineda goes to Lorenzo and she blindfolds him. And after that she lifts her mask and says that she loves him and she is ready to marry him. Here Pampanga kissed to Lorenzo and after that she leaves from there. Now, because of the blindfold, he could not recognize her. Now, after a few days, it is time for Pampanga to leave. But before leaving, she tells Head that Lorenzo isn't deaf and dumb. He is perfectly fine. He's just pretending. Actually, Pampanga didn't want to see Lorenzo with anyone else. Head gets very angry hearing this and she throws Lauren out of the church. When Pampanga was returning home, she finds Lorenzo outside. He says, take me with you, too, as Pam, Pina already liked him, so she takes him with her. 
Next, we see Jaworski, who was looking for Pampanga. He sees a girl in a lake and he starts talking to her. He asks the girl if you know Pampanga, because I am the prince of Russia and I am going to marry Pampanga. On hearing this, the girl says that I am the Pampanga DA. Jesse also assumes that it is Pampanga as he had never seen Pampanga before. Here Pampanga reaches home with Lorenzo and while talks, Lorenzo tells that he used to work in the church where he had fallen in love with a girl. He says that the girl kissed him with a blindfold on him and said that she loves him on. Hearing this, Pampina understands that Lauren also loves her. Then Pampanga asks Lauren, how will you recognize that girl? Then Lauren says that I will recognize her anyhow. Now here, Pampina was about to tell him that she was that girl, but suddenly Trevino arrives there. He is very angry on seeing Lorenzo and he challenges him to fight. But Lorenzo is unable to stand in front of him. When Trevino is about to kill Lorenzo, Pampanga stops him and tells him that if something happens to Lorenzo, she will never marry him. Hearing this, Trevino does not kill Lorenzo and locks him in prison. The next day, Campana tells Trevino that she is going to marry him tomorrow, but he has to release Lorenzo. Trevino agrees and he leaves Lorenzo and sends two of his men to bring church father. When father comes, Pampanga gives him money and tells him to cancel this marriage anyhow. Father says okay. He was the same man who used to do painting work in the church. On the other hand, two of Trevino's men were going to the forest with Lorenzo. But here their plan was to kill him. Before they can do anything. Lorenzo beats them and he sees that Jurgens is going to Pampanga, so he follows her to where he sees that Trevino is forcibly married to Pampanga. Just then Georgievic also comes there and he has a gun. Gabino scared of gun and he runs away. Georgievic kills everyone here and eventually kills Trevino as well. Campania tells Jaroski that she cannot marry him because she is in love with Lorenzo and saying that she removes her mask. And when Jurgen sees Pam face, he says that you are not the Pan Pina whom I'm going to marry. Then there comes the girl that Jaroski met on the lake. Actually, this girl was Pam Pina's friend Militia. Seeing Melissa Georgievic says that this is my Pampanga and I will marry her at the end. Pamplona goes to Lorenzo and she proposes to marry him. But Lorenzo tells her that I love someone else and I will marry her. Hearing this, Pamplona says, okay, but you give me a kiss, then Lorenzo kiss her and understands that Pampanga is the girl who kissed her in the church and with this movie ends. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to explain your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.